Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya and guest Jody. <laughs> Yay! I have a guest and she's amazing. This is Jody Komator from Next Generation Yoga, one of my besties who's leaving me and moving. No, I'm never leaving you. But I know I can come visit when she goes to the Bay Area. So we just went on a walk and we had an amazing discussion about two things that I thought were really relevant for today and to share on video. Um, and the first thing was around shifting our story, like if we're having a disempowering story about something. And so I was just complaining about something and Jody shared the story about how she's been dealing with um, the loss of her dog that I thought was really powerful. So I wanted her to share that and then we'll share some insights. Okay, so, um, so yeah, my dog Chance transitioned about a month ago and um, Tanya always took such great care of Chance and he was a beloved friend to many people and really just my longest relationship for 10 years and you know, a lot of people are asking me now how I'm doing and, you know, what's it like with Chance? And it's funny because there's a piece of me that wants to go into like, it's really hard and, I, you know, I'm, I'm not doing so well. And then there's another piece of me, the real piece of the truth of how I'm doing is like, I'm actually doing really good. Like I'm really healing and grieving in a really healthy way. You know, I'm doing things that feel really good. I'm still walking, I've got an altar set up. So I feel actually like I actually am doing good. But the thing that I think was the aha for Tanya and me was that I had this programming and the story of like, oh, I should be actually sad or I should be, you know, not doing so okay. But I'm actually, you know, shifting. So specifically what this was about is my, my book writing process. Mm -hmm. And so I was dwelling on the difficulty of the book launch and specifically that I am going to be hiring a book launch manager. And um, so I was focusing on the difficult part and it was going into the self-sabotaging piece of like, am I really good enough to put this out there? And specifically, am I good enough to ask for the support that I need to have the, the launch be successful. Mm. And so that was part two of the conversation was around asking for help and Jody was sharing with me about her video. She does a Wednesday walks video um, that you can find at, what is it? Whykidsloveyoga.com, Why next generation yoga. Whykidsloveyoga.com. <laughs> We're not into self promotion or anything. <laughs> at all. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, and, and so she shared another story about um, asking for help, like with her move. And I'll just let you share your story. Yeah, and this has been um, really powerful, not only for me, and that's why I was inspired to, to do my Wednesday Walk video around it, but the, the um, outpouring of other people relating to this. So, um, for whatever reason, programming, conditioning, what, the way I grew up, you know, ancestry, whatever it is. I think a lot of us have a difficult time asking for help. Yes. And, um, you know, with this move, with the transition of my dog Chance, with um, a recent doctor's appointment that I needed to go to, I've actually um, several times asked people, you being one of them, for help. And, you know, maybe it was really uncomfortable for me to actually ask for help because, you know, I didn't feel worthy or I was afraid that somebody would say no or I would be putting someone else out. But I kept on hearing, yes, I would love to help you, I would love to help you. And I think that we really need to realize that not only would, do people want to help, but they want to feel needed, yes. right? And that's, that's actually a totally new aha for me. So that's really exciting. So now you get to ask for help. Yeah, and it really came down to, um, I'm putting together the Tribal Truth Speak series, and we were looking at it as a fundraiser and I felt so guilty around actually turning this project into a fundraiser for my book launch and actually have it be part of the book launch process of like, oh my God, that would be so selfish and greedy for me to do, but actually for me to do a book launch is gonna cost a lot of money. <laughs> a book to bring to actually being very successful in a launch is, it's a lot. And people wanna help you. And people wanna help me. I wanna help you, I'm sure you wanna help her. <laughs> 
So uh, this was, you know, really vulnerable and to actually create a video about this and call myself out on the, you know, putting myself down, focusing on the negative and not really just standing in. No, actually like I'm doing really well right now and I'm going to do this book launch and Jody, you want to support me? It was like I went into the old pattern of I'm not going to focus on what's going right. I'm going to, um, you know, focus on my fears or my insecurities and, and so, the story and the story. So shifting the story and Cheers. asking for help. Thank you, Jody. She's such a rock star. She always kicks I was going to say butt. namaste and wisdom. That's what it's really yes. about. Namaste and wisdom. So we want to hear from you. Tell us, is it difficult for you to ask for help? And is there something that you haven't been asking for help um, around that perhaps you can even tell us what that is and what you're looking for support with? Who knows what you do when you post on a blog post, you never know what's going to show up for you. So thanks for watching today and we'll see you tomorrow.